What's the most expensive thing you've ever touched? At the Royal Canadian Mint in Ottawa, there's this biggest gold bar that holds some traditional significance I never bothered to look into. My friend licked it. Your friend now owns that bar. I work in biopharma manufacturing at the end of the production pipeline. We do bulk conjugations of antibody with drug. The antibody material is often worth well over 1M alone. It's really fun when I'm carrying a big 20L jug across the room worth more money than I'll make in my life. I've heard that one thing of plasma one donates for maybe $40 is worth upwards of $10,000 when it's finally doled out to someone in the medical capacity. I used to work at investment bank that had a few offices around the city. People would send in paper stock certificates all the time, and I'd walk them over to our vault a few blocks away. Sometimes they were a lot. I think the most was $500 million. I always thought it was weird there was a kid walking down the street with that much value in a cheap Kenneth Cole briefcase, and no one had any idea. Hum so I should start jumping random kids with briefcases, gotcha. When I was a kid, before the Liberty Bell was sequestered behind a slab of plexiglass, I put a rubber lizard on it and got yelled at by the tour guide. My grandfather made me touch the bell back when I was 9. We were both stubborn, me refusing and him insisting. He won when I realized that he wasn't going to let us walk off until I did, and also, he drove us there. A Stradivarius violin that cost somewhere between 2-5 million dollars. I had to wear gloves, but as a violinist it was an amazing moment for me. My friend dared me to touch a triceratops skeleton in the Smithsonian Museum when we were on our 7th grade field trip. It looked like it was completely unguarded and thus an easy dare to accept, but we were wrong. We set off the alarm system. Probably one of the royal palaces in Europe. I also wore a diamond and sapphire ring worth over a million dollars when I worked at Zale headquarters. I used to work for Intel. For those who don't know, computer chips before they are cut up and put in plastic packages, are built as small squares on silicon wafers, basically thin discs of glass, usually 8 or 12 inches in diameter. Dozens of chips are on each wafer. The wafers are stored in plastic boats, 25 wafers per boat, and I would often carry two boats at a time. I had millions of dollars in the palms of my hands. Comma I used to work at Intel. Comma I had millions of dollars in the palms of my hands. And then you tripped. I rode a $50,000 horse. Funny enough, the owners just used it as their 6-7 year old daughter's lesson horse. She wasn't competing or doing anything that $5,000 horse couldn't do. Rich people are weird. Haha <laughs> I was thinking of using my horse example to help to evaluate a million dollar plus horse. Didn't want to touch it at first because liability, but she was a sweet mare. I understand the cost of building the Parthenon, where the Acropolis is, was $10 billion in today's money. I've touched it, so there's that. I once touched the engine of a commercial aircraft at an industrial conference. They're worth over $10 million according to my trusty advisor, Google. That's nothing. I once stuck my entire body fully inside the fuselage of a commercial aircraft for 6 hours. It's a toss up between the car Kennedy was shot in, at the Henry Ford Museum, or one of those black metal no limit credit cards, depending on how liberal your interpretation of expensive is. As far as status symbols go, those cards take the cake. One of the original copies of Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, I was on a tour of an archive and the tour guide made the mistake of turning her back for a second so I gave it a quick gentle poke just so i could answer this question five years later i tripped over a dog stumbled and caught myself on the windshield of a parked lamborghini i think that thing was worth at least 300k dollars i don't know not a car guy a gladiator's human skin sword sheath an old world war ii vet from my friend's church shot some german soldiers who were looting a museum the guy had the paperwork to prove it was worth around 15 meters it was mounted on the wall of his, very modest, house. After he passed he donated it to the Smithsonian. Not sure of the value, but, when I was in the Air Force, they stored a moon rock in our safe for the weekend while it was on traveling display. We were under strict orders not to touch it. Naturally, we tossed it back and forth like a football. I'd like to think Buzz approved of our hijinks.
Imagine how fricked you'd have been if you dropped and shattered it. A brand new nuclear reactor vessel head. I believe it cost between $40 60 million. If you count the whole reactor, then I've touched something that cost billions. I touched an instrument played by Mozart. Laid my fingers on the keys of that mother sucker. I think it was a harpsichord. Anyways it was a pretty surreal. Not sure how expensive it was. But it was in this funny little room with very carefully controlled humidity and temperature. Most likely a forte piano. That's what Mozart typically wrote his music for. The harpsichord was more common in renaissance and baroque music and had largely fallen out of popularity by the late 18th century. One of the original first bibles printed by Gutenberg. It felt surreal. I could almost connect with history itself. Googling the price right last. It looks like one was auctioned for 5 million USD. Ohio class ballistic missile submarine. At the time they cost about $2 billion. Replacement cost today would be roughly twice that. Oh this is my time to shine. Before becoming a teacher I worked in art conservation. I've handled several Pollux, ancient Greek protums, basically ceramic faces, a Roman glass vase, one of the most complete ones ever, several illuminated manuscripts, very very old daguerreotypes, a first edition of John James Audubon's Birds of America that was scary to hold as one in a private collection had just sold for 7.9 million, ancient Roman scrolls, well, half scroll, viking sword, dinosaur bones, so many ancient Chinese vases. A very expensive looking Lamborghini taking up 4 parking spots downtown on a Friday night. I rubbed my dong on the handles. This is what I scrolled to find. Maybe a little more unique. One of Canada's group of 7 paintings that was about 6 featuring by 4 featuring. Sold for $750k to the CEO of Blackberry. Had to hang it in his house. So touched the painting. His house. Shook his hand. Also dropped it while hanging it. SHHHHH. Got shipped a box that contained 18 Rockwell PLCs that was shipped to our company for a large project. Each PLC was worth about 12k dollars. 216k dollars total. The UPS guy dropped it off in our lobby. Small company. And it sat there for a few hours. Someone mentioned I had a package. So I went up and opened it up and my eyes went wide. Needless to say I immediately moved the box into our Halon protected, refit accessed server room. This is how our local Rockwell distributor sends us stuff, and it's never a problem. But usually boxes contain parts worth less than 20k. I held a phone that had the credentials to a blockchain wallet containing, I crap you not, 40 bitcoins the day before T forked. I helped him recover his credentials. He better give me something for it. Hey it's me the guy with 40 bitcoins please send me your bank account credentials, address, phone number and social security number for me to send you some bitcoins. The code of Hammurabi in the Louvre. While everyone was snapping pics of the Mona Lisa I managed to convince a guard to let me touch it. It was amazing to feel something so ancient and significant. Seattle slew, long after his triple crown victory, when he was one of the great sires of racehorses, worth I don't know how many tens of millions. P.S. Best part was the groom who loved to let people take photos with Seattle slew like they were in charge of him. Problem was the groom wasn't allowed to let go off the end of the lead rope, so instead I held the middle of the lead rope and the groom kept hold of the very end and hid behind the horse. So in the photo there is this extra pair of legs behind Seattle Slough, who was totally mellow BTW. I went on an early morning tour of Stonehenge where you could walk freely around it. They told us not to touch it under any circumstances, oh well. A set of Power 9 from Magic. At the time the Lotus was worth about $300, the Moxes, Ancestral Recall, Time Warp and Time Twister $100. Nice. The guy above you chose 2 billion dollar nuclear submarine. Most expensive thing that wasn't a car was a 5.1 carats diamond ring at D Beers. They let me try it on and everything. It literally went from knuckle to knuckle and was wider than my finger. Granted, I have small fingers, but still. Late as crap to this thread. 
but I work in a service industry that inspects life safety apparatuses. We have government contracts and often get to go to places in which high clearance is needed to enter, such as the Federal Reserve. I worked with a fellow technician who told me he was testing a fire alarm system at the Federal Reserve. The armed escort and tech entered a vault in which a smoke detector was above a wooden pallet of cash. There was no way to put a ladder up to get to the detector so the armed guard says, go ahead, just hop on up on top of the pallet and test it. So he jumps on top of the pallet and proceeds to test the smoke. As he's working, he turns to the guard and asks, how much money am I standing on right now? The guard looks at the pallet with a thoughtful look on his face and replies, looks like about 30, maybe 35 million dollars. For those unaware, the Cleveland Art Museum has been rated as the 4th best art museum in the world. It has had several additions in recent years, and is absolutely amazing. It has whole wings dedicated to all historical time periods and all parts of the world. They have actual Egyptian sarcophagi, cuneiform tablets, Christian artifacts from the first millennium CE, Rembrandt paintings, suits of armor and medieval weapons, you name it. It's absolutely amazing and two things that make it even more amazing are, one, it's completely free. When the art museum was founded some 100 years ago, the family that paid to start it decreed that it should be available to all people forever, regardless of economic status. And two, this is the part applicable to the three many exhibits have no barriers or protective glass. You can put your face right up to a Rembrandt painting and see the master's actual brush strokes. They do this deliberately, with a constant though subtle security presence, so that people can closely examine and appreciate the finer details of all this history. One day, I accidentally got a little to Monet's ultra famous water lilis painting, yes the water lilis painting, and brushed it with my nose. Security didn't see it, and my guess is an alarm would go off if enough pressure was applied. Suffice to say, that particular painting is valued at over $40 million. TL. DR, touched a 40 million dollar painting with my nose. In 2008 not long after the Audi R8 had been released we had a school thing where we drove to Wellington 4. My mate's dad took a group of us in and wanted to look at the Audi showroom. So there we are. Four 13 year olds in an Audi showroom so we obviously decide to sit in the brand new Audi R8 that had literally just come out. So probably that. I also ripped a mean fart in it too. I went to Neiman Marcus and touched a beautiful fur coat, can't remember what, it was the size of a crop top shirt, no long sleeves, not even covering your full abdomen, cost $10,000, literally $10,000 for a crop fur coat. Hammurabi's code of laws at the Louvre. no one was in there at the time and the guard was out, I started poking it but then realized I might get shot for that so I ran out. Maybe it was a replica or something because it seems that something like that would probably be better protected. Also a Super Bowl ring and one of the Cowboys Lombardy trophies. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.